evening and welcome to Kibo News at 9. I'm your presenter, Derek Ingara. And to our news today, it has been a, a heated political season in Kenya with many political events unfolding each day of the, of the day. Recently, Uhuru Kenyatta took an oath in office, serving him the second term in office. And on the same day during his inauguration, the NASA principal Raila Odinga said that he is going to be sworn in as the people's president come 12th, that is on Jamuhuri Day. He said that he is not a coward and he will be sworn in considering he won during the eighth election. Our reporter Derek Ingara has filed more about the story. Have a look. <laughs> I, Uhuru Kenyatta, in full realization, in full realization of the high calling, of the high calling, I assume as President of the Republic of Kenya, I assume as President of the Republic of Kenya. You swear that I will be faithful. You swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya. To the Republic of Kenya. That I will obey. That I will obey. Preserve. Preserve. Protect and defend the Constitution of Kenya protect and defend this constitution of Kenya as by law established as by law established and all other laws of the republic and all other laws of the republic and that I will protect and uphold and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty the sovereignty integrity integrity and the dignity of the people of Kenya and dignity of the people of Kenya so help me god so help me God. It's barely a week since President Uhuru Kenyatta took an oath awarding him the second term in office. Plans by NASA to swear in their leader Raila Odinga are at high gear since opposition leaders sent out invitation to his swearing in ceremony scheduled to take place on Jamuhuri Day. The invitation posted on NASA Telegram channel on Friday stated that the swearing in will take place on December 12, 2017. The venue of the inauguration, ha however, has not been disclosed and guests will also be vetted before attending the controversial swearing-in ceremony. The Judiciary Registrar Ms. Ann Amadi on Friday said that they had not been informed of the inauguration ceremony that was being planned by the opposition party. It should also remember that police dispersed a crowd of Raila followers at Raila event along Manyanja Road Eastlands in Nairobi on Tuesday afternoon after the NASA lead announced his inauguration. Speaking during the event, Raila said that he was not a coward and he will be sworn in on Jamuhuri Day since he is the legitimate president. Raila added that he did not recognize the August 8th polls and October 26th polls insisting that they were null and void. <laughs> Tutakuwa na kongamano ya wakenya People's Assembly Ambaye itaniapisha mimi Sasawa Nisi tulipata kuna milion nane na lakitano Uruwa kapada kuna milion sama na lakimoja Tulimusina zaidi ya milion moja na lakine Lakini wale wezi wa IBC Wakapadilisha matokeo Kibu TV went on streets of Kibabi in Bungoma County to seek views of the resident concerning the same and this is what they had to say. Uh, my name, I'm called Alex Masoni. I'm a student of Kibabi University taking a Bachelor of Education and Social Science that is combination of uh, English literature. Therefore, I just want to comment on this issue of swearing in Raila Morodinga, the flag bearer of RM, RNRM as the president. This issue is totally going to affect us, especially those people who do business around the school and even all over the country. Therefore, I just want to urge or to ask the president, uh, the, the, the flag bearer, that we should do that one uh, in a peace, uh, peaceful way. Then, on the other way around, it will bring that what you call a political tension. You see that 
the tension will come up, will arise, the critique will come to arise, to criticize that like what has happened, what has happened, coming to criticize that issue. Then it means that we are going to have a political tension. On the other issues on the business aspect, you're going to see that uh, these people who are around here, especially around the Kibab University, we depend on students mostly. And when it comes, and then it means that uh, students will be running away due to that tension, will be running, going home for that tension, then it means the business will drop. and those are the views of residents of Kibabi in Bungoma County concerning the inauguration of NASA principal Raila Amolo Odinga. It was Uhuru Kenyatta inauguration. Now it's Raila Odinga inauguration. The big question remains, what the way forward for Kenya? Will Kenya enter the Guinness Book of Records for having two presidents? Only time will answer this question. Derek Ingara, SYN TV. <laughs>
do you think this decision for Manchester City, be considering Manchester, the Manchester have not be, been beaten in any league, be it FA, be it Premier League, be it Champions League, do you think this is their season? I think it is their season and it's their cup to lose. Yeah. So far, they are the, the the team that is dominant in England. They are playing very beautiful football, which everybody enjoys to, to look at. So I think it's theirs to lose. It's in, already in their hands. And to you, Kelvin, yes. Do you think Man City? It's time for Man City to shine this season. I think so, but at the moment, uh, last three games, Manchester City defense-wise have been staggering. Uh, I think they have considered um, three goals in three games, yeah. and that's not good for. Uh, that's not a sign of a champion. Just look at Chelsea or Leicester City when they won the Premier League. You can you win with a clean sheet. Manchester City they have a good squad, and I think this is their year. And just to to talk about the injuries and the, the injuries in the Premier League, you can see that Manchester United are lacking the services of Maroon Fellaini. Do you think? With Maroon Felain being in the game, it makes Lukaku to score. Or what is you can see, Lukaku's form has been going down. Yeah, the, yeah. The, for example, just the last three, yeah. three matches, he has, he has ne done nonsense. It's just actually, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> eleven. No, not uh, you can say that it's nonsense, but yeah, it's nonsense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> At the moment, he's doing nothing yes. on the pitch. <laughs> and then, just you, Kelvin. Yeah. You, you see, when Felain is playing, you you will see Lukaku scoring goals. But yeah. when Maroon Fellaini is out, is, Lukaku is playing nonsense. He even had no shot on target yesterday. What kind of a check uh, is that? I can say this yeah. Yeah, concerning that. Uh, Maroni Fellaini is good at the high levels. balls. Uh, yeah. the, the, uh, Manchester City, they are, uh, they are good at that. I'm coming of Maroni Fellaini back. Yeah. I think uh, it will help Manchester, Manchester United. But having in mind that Manchester United rested several, all, I think five players, key players of first team, Mata, Rashford, uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Miki, uh, Mkhitaryan, they were rested uh, specifically for Manchester derby. Yeah. I think I think, I think we need to add on that. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. The, the impact of Fellaini coming back, mm -hmm. I think it's only going to help Mourinho pack the bus more effectively. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's going to pack the bus yeah, just, effectively. Just yeah. to not, not to help Lukaku to <laughs> only just to catch shots. Yeah. Yesterday you saw yeah. Arsenal had everything. That yeah. three goals, that three shots, shot shot that yeah, it has never happened in Premier League. Yes. You saw them in seven, pole, pole position, yeah. 77 23. That has never happened between yeah. Arsenal and, and Manchester. Manchester. But at the end of the day, Manchester, Manchester carried the day. day. Mm -hmm. you know, what, what do you think? Do Mourinho play a more defensive game? No, that's why, so Mourinho, yes. that's why Mourinho calls himself the special one. Yeah. That's why we know Mourinho the special one. In packing the bus. In packing the bus. Tell the viewers. In the game, yeah, they take back in the bus. Yes, Kioni. <laughs> yeah, just keep, just keep uh, quiet. In the game, what we, at the end of the day, what do we want? Sir, Manchester United have been dominating Arsenal. Mourinho, one on one against Arsenal, has a good record. Yesterday, yeah. it was that Arsenal had a good game than Manchester United. But at and the end of the day, I, Manchester I, won. I think, I think it's, what about, what about it's, it's, it's always very good to tell your viewers the truth. Yeah. Mourinho is the special one in yeah, he's the, the past. No, but <laughs> one, thing, one, one, thing, yeah. one thing I like about him, yeah. he even if he packs the bus, at the end of it all, he actually gets a result. That's why he's that, the special that, one. In packing the bus. No. For now, the results. Now, <laughs> oh, to you, Kioni, yes. I, I, I can see that you, you are uh, anti-Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. I'm, I'm just... I, I just let me just use my mind. And remember, <laughs> dear viewer at home, you can still share your views concerning our conversation in studio by sending sending your views at Kibu TV News on Twitter and on Facebook. You can leave your comment down there at Kibu TV. And then just let, let's talk now Chelsea football. What the future of Chelsea? Uh, and uh, Chelsea is, if I start from uh, what you have said, yeah, is not a uh, anti Manchester. Is a critic of Jose Mourinho. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come to uh, Chelsea, the future of Chelsea. Chelsea, the way Chelsea is playing, is not that of uh, defending champions. Yeah, Chelsea, they are defending champions, but yeah. I can say they are Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. Football. Last, last, last year, yeah. same time, same uh, of the season, mm -hmm. Chelsea was the number one. Yes. But at the same time, Chelsea scored 35 goals at the moment. At the, at the moment, right now, mm -hmm. Chelsea have 27 goals. That is 8 goals shy of what they scored last. Sir, Kevin, that shows my director is, is instructing me that we don't have time. Just give us some few views, 3 seconds about the Manchester, I, I about think, Chelsea, Chelsea football. I think the Chelsea 
the, concerning what he's saying that Chelsea are not playing good football and what you are saying, Chelsea are really playing interesting football. The thing is that any time that you win a previous title, the next year or the next season you always become to, to, yeah. to defend. So I think but you can see the pressure that but Chelsea is trying to pile up on Manchester United. Look at Chelsea, they have that's two points. Manchester has 35. So any slip up and Chelsea comes into Manchester. Thank, so thank you, it's, it's a really t- it's a, but, it's a tight but, 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 thank you. But, but it's not automatic. You yeah, must th- thank you guys yeah, for joining yeah, yeah. us. <laughs> but I want you to struggle. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us in studio today. It was a pleasure, greeting time for us and coming to talk football. Uh, thank you, Kelvin. Th- uh, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Another Please day. tell Mourinho not to pack. And the, the, and the great <laughs> Manchester United. Yeah. And to my great viewer, that was a very good, comprehensive comprehensive <clears throat> analysis of the Premier League that, that it's, it's going and just to conclude the, let, let me leave you with the clips of yesterday yesterday match against Manchester and Arsenal and as you can see the, the game between Man City and West Ham is ongoing and I, I'm told that they are at 1-1 at the moment I, if my director will just see that clip and you'll see have a look at the, at the goals and it is his right-footed corner, which is uh, netted goalwards. He would have liked the attention from Valencia. Lukaku calling for it. He's picked out Pogba instead. And now Antonio Valencia won the United. And, um, it's been a lively start by Manchester United. Backed up with a, a very good strike. So in the end, he's got sufficient power for check to be unable to close the gap close his legs quickly and his position he just kept wide of where the arsenal numbers were and uh, i thought he, he should have hit it first time but obviously it wasn't it, it was that there that caused all the problems from kashelny um, and thereafter it was just a case of work and united are out of the blocks promptly alexis sanchez against the wall Ursel Kalashinats Kalashinats and uh, and he's, he's still making important contributions from the last four from Mustafi Lukaku's onto it he's rolled it through here for Martial there goes Jesse Lingard 2 nil United as uh, a group of two or three players and Jesse Lingard who scored a quite brilliant individual goal it's great control and composure from Lingard who's banging form it is a brilliantly executed pounce by United. Probably one and two touch stuff. Martial superb. And once he got in this position, considering he was been hurried a little behind up and, and just showed too much of it to Lingard, he was able to pinch it. And then there's a lovely link up. This is brilliant play, really. And in particular, Scott Dran Mustafi, who's not only have Arsenal shot themselves in the foot once, they've done it. A- Bellerin, very good strike, but. Sanchez and Ramsey no 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 Lacazette yes it's to his tally and it's deserved from Arsenal and now we really do have a whopping game he might not have the control in trying to play it first time past the hair very unselfish on his part to play it to Lacazette by the fact that they're not pressing they're just watching them play nobody's closing and there's certainly no hint of an offside and just Still. Jesse Lingard drives it through check against the post and it bounces out. Martial. Tremendous game of football but on Lingard's attempt and everybody's kind of waiting, waiting and still it won't go in. And on the Granite Xhaka, it will be Lacazette! with his feet and the right foot did the job Lacazette thought he he buried it superb down low that's outstanding and as he saw off on this for Manchester United they were appealing for an offside but that that's the last shot and Pogba is galloping up here it is Paul Pogba for Manchester United around for Shelby that one of these breaks would be made to count by the visitors and bang and he was able to just set up Lingard with ease who released him in the first place and all of a sudden the Emirates allowed himself to be beaten 
And this is beautiful footwork by Pogba once he got into position. Um... Jesse Lingard again as part of a magic personal week for him. And again, a... Thank you, my dear viewer, for keeping it Kibu News. It has been a pleasure informing you of what is going on in the country. Let's meet tomorrow at the same place, same time, for more comprehensive news. I've been your presenter, Derek Ingara. <laughs>